everyone welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'm going to be doing a design that i saw on instagram from a i'm pretty sure she's a magpie brand ambassador her name is natalia nicholson nails so definitely check out her instagram because her work is amazing um so i saw her do this on a reel the other day and i thought that looks amazing i'm going to give it a go the only difference I'm going to be doing is that you need jelly colours to do it. And I don't have any jelly colours. So I am literally just going to create some. So that's what I'm doing here first. So first things first, before I start doing this, <coughs> I just want to get my nails ready for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply my foil gel to two nails. Now usually I use natural nails, but obviously natural coloured nails, sorry, but because um this design is obviously like jelly effect it would be a bit pointless to do it on natural because that would give them more of a solid look so i am using my clear ones for this design so i'm just doing a coat of foil me foil gel on two nails first things first and i'm going to pop that into the lamp <clears throat> for a full cure so i'm going to create my jelly color so i'm just going to get a blue, a pink, purple and my teal and I put a little blob, I'm making sure they're really far away because I'm going to make a bit of a mess with them, I don't want them to run into each other, I don't need a lot at all to make a jelly colour, I've probably got a little bit too much here, we'll make way too much with this but it's fine um, and then a bit of purple and then I'm going to use base coat, <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice, I'm going to use base coat to mix those with. So I'm just going to get some and put a blob of it next to the colour. I'm not putting it on the colour because I want to make sure that I'm not putting too much colour into it straight away. So doing it this way I can make sure that I do it bit by bit and just add a bit of colour as I go along. So I'm going to get a brush that I can mix them together with. not that one because it's got glitter in it okay so let me just zoom in a little bit so i'm going to start with the pink so i'm just going to pick up a little bit of pink and just start mixing that into my base coat obviously the clear will like dilute your color so it'll make it give it that glass jelly effect you can make it as colorful or as like just about color as you want i'm going to add just a little bit more get it a little bit more pink there we go, I'm just going to get the excess off my brush by twiddling it round. And then I'm going to do the same for the other three. So again, just picking up a little bit of colour at first. You don't want to get too much and make the colour too intense because then you're going to have to keep adding base coat to it. I have put a little bit too much in this one, so I'm going to add a bit more base coat. Just to really... Make sure it's glassy. And just give it a mix. And then again with the purple. Let's turn that round because the light's shining on it. You need them to be like see-through and not really um too colorful because we're gonna have to see things through them it's gonna be like a layered design so you want to make sure that you've got um that see-through effect there's no point buying jelly colors just to do this sort of thing because obviously like you can do what i'm doing now and just mix them together Add a bit more color in that one <clears throat> So once I've mixed them together and they're ready to use, I can then go ahead and get going. I've just nearly put my finger in that. That was close. Anyway, so I'm going to be using white foil. And I've always said to you how much I love white foil. Every time I use it on my channel, I get so excited. Um, it's just amazing. So let me just find it in my folder. Perfect. So here we go. We're just going to do random patches of this 
on the nail so I'm just going to cut some off the end so I'm not cutting loads and loads and you really do only need a little bit especially if you're only doing um, a couple of nails with it put that back in there and then I'm going to get my nail that's got my foil gel on it I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then we can apply our foil patches it's not very difficult with um, these display tips to do this but there you go you want to leave some gaps where you don't have any as well just to give that patchy effect and then we're going to get this and we're going to apply our jelly colours on top I'm just making sure it's nice and even and then I'm going to wipe off the excess of that colour and then go in with the next one just to make sure they sort of blend a little bit and again, wipe it off, get my next colour. Pop it straight on. And then last but not least, we need the purple. A little bit more colour for this one. And then I'm just going to get the excess off my brush and then it'll make it easier for me to just slightly blend all the colours. Now I've got lots of product on there. There we go. And I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. I'm going to do the same thing again with this one. So we're applying our white foil first of all. I'm using the wrong side of this foil. Just looked at it and wondered why it was matte. It's because it's upside down. <laughs> there we go. So then I'm going to do the exact same thing again. Picking up my jelly colours. I'm going to place them in different areas this time on this nail to mix it up a little bit. And then again, I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. The other one is now out. So on this one, we're now going to do another coat of the foil gel because we're going to apply some more foil now. So I'm just going straight over. Popping that back in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm just going to create a bit more of the jelly colours because we need another layer. So... I'm going to make them a little bit more pigmented this time because obviously now I've used them the first time I know now how much like I need in them so it's a bit trial and error when you're creating your own but you'll get there so it's fine so I'm going to get some colour again swirl it through it's almost like you're just diluting your colour basically Well, it's not almost like that, it is like that, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Effectively, you're just diluting it down. Obviously, if you have got jelly colours, then don't do all this, because you don't need to. But I've never, never bought... I've got one jelly colour, actually. I've got a black... I think I've got a purple as well, I actually think about it, which is a bit annoying, because I could have used that, but never mind. I just 
wouldn't use them often enough to warrant having to buy bottles of them so this works fine for me when I do want to use them and then the blue and then once you're happy we can do the next step so we're gonna again apply our oil over the top but this time I'm going to try and do it in the areas that I haven't applied it yet so it gives a dimensional effect like this and then we're going to do the exact same thing by adding our colours to them. I'm going to place the colours in the same place that they are already in Obviously your um, foil is going to hide it a little bit so you just need to just make a, a guess of where you want the lines to be. Like so, but don't cure this one just yet. So first of all I'm just going to put a bit more effort into blending the colours together again. Especially that harsh blue line there. I'm going to get a bit of pink on my brush and just use that to blend them together. Like so. And then once I've done that, we're going to apply some, uh, what's it called? Some flakes on top. And that, that centre of it there. So now we're going to apply some flakes. So I'm going to use three different ones. Oh gosh. So I'm going to use Bloom, Mary, oh, Annabelle, and Venus. I'm just going to open those. I always hit my flakes like at the bottom of the bottle before opening them just to make sure they're all where they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to move it out of the way for a second and then get my flakes here. I'm just going to put a little bit of gel on the end of my brush so it's sticky and it will pick up the flakes easier. I'm going to place them over the top. You can place as many or as few as you want, obviously. Just do it exactly how you want to do it. I just really wanted to try this out as soon as I saw them on Instagram because they're very pretty. So that's that with the flakes on. I'm going to pop that back into the lamp for a full cure. And I actually don't remember whether I've put any, um, what's it on this or not, foil gel. So I'm just going to place this on. Yeah, I must have. And if I didn't, it's sticking well anyway, so it's fine. So I'm just popping some of this on again. Like so. And then pushing it down back on my thing. So I'm just going to move these out of the way a moment get my colours back. I'm just going to get my flakes off my brush and then back into my pink. And then my green. And then lastly, my purple. And that's that. Get that out of the way. And I'm just going to go in with my flakes again. Put 
perfect popping that back into the lamp and we'll cure those both for 60 seconds each to make sure they're completely cured and then i'm going to top coat and i'll show you what they look like at the end um natalia when she did hers did use some like wire at the end but i do have some i just don't really like it very much so i'm not going to bother with that step but obviously you can add whatever you want um you could even do some stamping on top or like literally anything on top obviously you could use that as your background but i'm having it as like the main part of the design so i'm not going to put anything on top of it um but i'll show you what it looks like when it's completely top coated and done so here is the finished look and i hope you like how they turned out and um, definitely check out the reel that i was talking about on natalia nicholson nails on instagram because it is amazing it's just basically a very much quicker version of me of my video well obviously hers is the original version but you know what i mean like it's just a quicker one um so yeah hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you back here very soon bye